out to do that. If you want to know more about Thailand, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you not miss anything about my country. Yesterday, it was a news that uh, the Prime Minister spokesman she announced that Mr. Anutin, or a Minister of the Public Health, and also the Deputy Prime Minister, he assigned to let a Minister of the Tourism and Sport to just starting to do a video conference with uh, a lot of people who just have to come and talk about the plan of when we're going to reopen Thailand for tourists. Woohoo! Excited! <laughs> I'm excited to tell you! <laughs> well, in a video conference, they are talking about how to get the tourism back to Thailand. And uh, they just say that, first of all, it has to be the, the Ministry of Interior. They have to take care of the vaccination to 10 tourist provinces. And also another one, which is a Ministry of Public Health, they have to manage a vaccine, try to get a vaccine wherever they're from, in anywhere in the world. The Ministry of Public Health has to be a person who just arrange all the vaccines to come into Thailand. And also TAT or a Tourism Authority of Thailand, they have their job, they have to do a marketing to get a tourist to come back to Thailand. And also another one, which is the Office of the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Tourism and Sport. They got to do a paperwork to the National Vaccine Committee, how to arrange the vaccine to all the tourism area. And for this plan, the Ministry of Tourism and Sport, they talk with a lot of government officers, also a private company, and also a lot of organizations in several provinces and they still confirm to have four phases of the plans of getting you into the countries. I think it's the same but to assure you that uh, this is still the same and some is a new updating so I think it's quite interesting to know about it. The first phase is already right now. Phase one is April until 30 of June. It is like an open vaccinated tourist and also with a certificate of the COVID-19 and they have to do a quarantine as what the government requests. Phase two is Phuket Sandbox. Yes, yes. <laughs> Phuket Sandbox is gonna be on the 1st of July until the 30th of September. For Phuket Sandbox, they also request to have a vaccinated travelers and also um, also the certificate of the COVID-19 without a quarantine. Yes, when you come here for Phuket Sandbox at Oli Phuket during 1st of July until 30th of September, no quarantine, but you got to be vaccinated. Okay, and uh, if I'm not wrong, the vaccine that you get, it has to be in a list as I mentioned to you a few days ago in another previous video. Right now, if I'm not wrong, we already got eight types of vaccines. If you got that vaccine, you will be allowed to join with the Phuket Sandbox. So you can, I will just put the link and show you, okay? And then the phase three is got to be, actually, I'm not quite sure. Please wait until they announce again about the uh, how many vaccines they would allow so it's still a few more months so i believe that is probably will be more vaccines to let you in so i will i'm going to update about the vaccine later okay then the phase three is on the first of october they will let vaccinated uh, travelers certificate of the covid 19 to another provinces for example like grabi and also panga I think you know about Panga. Panga is Kaulak, okay? And also Suratani, and Suratani is the location of Got Samui. And also Chiang Mai, because Chiang Mai, they have the, um, it's just like a, like a mountain running. I'm not sure how to say in English. And also they call a trail running, which is the, um, like the world trail running on the 11th until 14th of November this year. They're going to have this, uh, running competition so it's going to be in Chiang Mai and also Shonburi the reason that they choose Shonburi is that Shonburi is located next to Bangkok and of course Shonburi is a location of Pattaya yeah 
guys. <laughs> And also another one is Buriram. So any one of you who loves sport, Buriram is very famous about the uh, Moto GP, which is going to be on the uh, in the October 2021 this year. And also another one is called Pechaburi. The reason that they choose Pechaburi is just because of the it's between Bangkok and Prajuap Kirikan and Prajuap Kirikan is another one and it's a location of Hua Hin. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and Hua Hin is the location of the Thai tourists and also foreigners who love to go there. It's more for health, healthy, healthy tourism. Just like go for meditation, less party. <laughs> and the last one, of course, how can I miss this? Is Bangkok. So I really hope, really hope on the 1st of October is going to be these all tourist cities, tourist uh, provinces would open without quarantine. So if you come here in October, it's going to be without a quarantine. And uh, phase four is going to be 1st of January uh, next year. It's going to be like open entire countries without a quarantine in 2022. However, they said that uh, right now they can't confirm anything yet. Everything is all depending on Thai people. If Thai people accept to get a vaccine, everything is going to be okay. It's the same time, uh, people who work in the tourism, at least people who work in tourism need to get a vaccine for at least 70% of people. For example, like uh, a tour guide, a hotel people, a massage or anything which is now working in a tourism business they need to get a vaccine before and then it's going to be ready to reopen the country and uh, in 2019 before the COVID-19 hit Thailand the tourists came here for 39.9 million people and uh, for 10 provinces that I mentioned before they could make income in tourism income for 80% for Thailand for tourism income so that is a lot so they expect that this year if everything is all as a planned the thing is going to be like 3 million point 3 million I hate reading <laughs> number 3 million and 500,000 tourists will come here within this year if everything is as planned and they expect that is going to be income I'm gonna put the list here. I think it's easier for you to know about it. So this is all about the uh, what they're talking about today. What I'm trying to say is at least you know that things is moving on. They are just trying to work and uh, once they have a lot of different minister, uh, different ministry and a lot of different organization, when they help together as a good team, Hopefully everything is going to run smoothly, especially vaccine is, is the most important for Thailand. At the same time, you probably have heard from the news in another channel that Thailand already make a contract with the uh, Pfizer. So Pfizer vaccine is coming into Thailand in quarter three and four, and they promised to give the vaccine to Thailand for 10 to 20 million doses and also we also have another new uh, vaccines coming to Thailand as well so right now the uh, Thailand especially a uh, Ministry of Public Health say we want every kind of vaccine so whatever how many we can get we want to get all of them no matter which brand in the same time from before we thought that we wanted to get for like a hundred a hundred million doses for 50 million uh, population in Thailand. Right now, the Prime Minister set another goal. He set another goal to be 150 million doses, which is a lot more. So hopefully he can do it. <laughs> I think that uh, right now, a lot of the politicians get in a very bad pressure from Thai people because of the things is getting worse. So we need a lot of the help and also Thai people also need to help the government as well to get a vaccine. So some of them want to get vaccinated 
some of them do not want to, so I respect everyone. For myself, I would love to get a vaccine. For myself, I think that right now, COVID-19 is not different from the war. Thinking about the war, which is like longer than 700 years ago, since and until, you know, next generation to generation, we had to fight and protect the country with a gun, with a um, long sword, you need to die and lots of bleeding. It's not different, just only our weapon today for Thailand, for myself, in my perspective. The web weapon is a vaccine. No matter my weapon is the best one or is the worst one, but hopefully it's going to protect Thailand. So I don't mind to be the front line who will get a vaccine, even though it's not the best vaccine. But hopefully I will be one of them, like a troop of Thailand during this war. I would love to protect my country to be better. Probably because my family is a military as well. My father is in military, my brother is in military, so we are quite brave and we don't mind to do anything for the country. So the one who do not want to have a vaccine, I totally respect you. But for my opinion, this is the reason why I want to get a vaccine. One of the reasons I want to be part of the Thailand to be ready to reopen the country and to get you back into the country for yourself. For myself, I don't know yet about the future. I don't want to wait for the future. I want to be happy today. My happiness today is talking with you in this camera and I'm very happy to have a good news for you today as well. Anyway, I talk too much. <laughs> I hope that this video can bring you happiness and uh, with hope as well. Please stay with uh, positivity and hope you know is going to make us smile and be happy and uh, if you think this video is useful can you please give me a thumb up <laughs> and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe this channel is not a new channel this channel is about thailand and tourism this is the uh, special content that i'm going to report during the covid 19 once when if no more COVID-19, it's going to be only a content about Thailand knowledge. I want to teach you more about getting to know my country, everything. So if you have any questions about Thailand, you want to know anything about Thailand, you're more than welcome. You have sister named Taya <laughs> being here to answer you. Anyway, if you feel like you appreciate it with this content, you feel like you want to support my channel, you want to buy me a coffee you can have a look in the description how to buy me a coffee and for today thank you so much for watching until the end i'll see you next time very soon hopefully a good news <laughs>